Greetings and salutations. I am the Krisha Jean, and although you can't see me, you can follow the melodious sound of my voice, as I say. Uh, I am here to restart Dream Daddy. Um, I know I only have one video up, and it is of Dream Daddy, but they recently released a Dad Rector's Cut. So um, I am going to restart and take this back from the beginning. Uh, so here we go. I do have the game on uh, streamer mode, so you're not going to hear any of the copyright music or anything like that, but if you do have the game, I highly, highly recommend checking out the music. It's got a cute little theme song at the beginning, um, but I don't want to get you know, copyright striked, so I'm going to leave it as streamer mode. Alright, so we're going to start a new game here. That is loud. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. That is a good, good dad tip. I am a sleepy daddy. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Dad! Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Dad, wake up! Wake up, pretend to be dead, or five more minutes. I'm gonna pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. That's probably not very cuddly. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. That's such a dad thing. Hey, Panda. Ugh. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Always check the card reader at ATMs before you swipe. That is an excellent tip. Build that dad. I used to work at a bank. You want to make sure there's no uh, skimming devices on those things. Okay, what bod do I want? This is frightening to look at right now. Okay, bod, 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 bod. Athletic tank bod. A thick tank bod. Slim tank bod. Slim binder bod. Thick binder bod or athletic binder bod. I'm gonna go for slim. Slim. I like a little slim. Uh, heads. That is a strong chin. Triangle. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Short. Shadow? No shadow. Shadow? No shadow. I'm gonna go with no shadow. Hair. And being that this is a Game Grumps game, of course we have the Aaron hair and the Danny hair. Got a man bun rocking. Buzzy buzz buzz. Ooh. Lots of hair. Hmm. <laughs> I like the ponytail. Uh, space warrior. Anyway, ponytail. Let's have some fun with the color. Nah. We'll go with green. Why not? Why the heck not? Oh, dear lord, that's frightening. Mm -hmm. That definitely saw a sco ghost. Whoa. It's ghost. Mm. Not a word. Not a real eye shape. <laughs> Space warrior. Wow. Um. Sure. Yes. Noses. Nah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sure. Mouths. No. No. <laughs> a 
salty mouth. I do not like any of these choices. We're just we're just gonna stick there. Stick with that. Eyebrows. Oh, Danny eyebrows. Oh, it's got the scar. I look concerned. Now I look angry. Aww. What's a good eyebrow to have? Yeah, I like the Danny eyebrows. Gives a little character. A little flavor. What color do I want? Sure. Why not? Do I want facial hair? Amazing. <laughs> no, I don't think I want facial hair. That was fun, though. Nah. Piercings. Cool. Nah. Monroe. Snake bite. I like piercings, why not? Plain white tea. A very happy burger. Oh, Aaron clothes, you must have that. Oh, they're pajam- I get it, okay. Danny sex bang outfit. Maple bay. Egg nips. I'm sorry, nibs. Nips. Z. Whatever. Classy. Less classic. Yeah, I like the pirate. That is a good looking daddy. Name that dad. Hmm. A name. What's a good name? <clears throat> um, you know, I just rewatched the collector the other day, so we'll call him Arkin, because I do enjoy that name. Um Arkin Lestrange. Why not? Be that dad. I will be that dad. Don't skip the corners. Try to exercise <laughs> regularly. Did you fall asleep packing? Well, obviously I was spooning a moving box. I got most of it done. I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, there's a straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yeah! Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Oh, we're going to go down memory lane. <laughs> She's cute. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. That was cooler, I'm just saying. I know, not a competition. The only way your father and I, and the only way your mother and I. So you can pick either. We'll go with father. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. So she wears her sunglasses at night. I know, I'm not funny, but I try. The effort's there. Nice. Hmm. Halloween, when you were maybe four? That is a princess dragon, it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. I, I was right. I know I've played this before, but I can't remember all the... Uh, all the uh, back and forth here. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess, dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm? Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. 
And this was you in the horse phase. We all had a horse phase. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Hmm. I don't think that was his, um... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. My skinny superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. We all had a ska band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> the ska Munist Manifesto, which is an amazing name for a ska band, had a chance back in the day. I looked off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. How do you know that many Emmas? Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was like seven. Give it a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Uh, tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at a police station, or pooped her pants during a sleepover. I like the police station answer. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? <laughs> Dad, that was you. Oh, right. That was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. I'm sure we can all relate. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. Yep, they did not believe me either. Eh? Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Later, she'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Aw, she's so proud. Hey! Yellow band? Yellow bow? Hey, yellow flower. Heh. <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts. That's a lot of Z's. I think you mean food poisoning? You know, with a Z. Aww. Dad. Dad jokes. Still can't drive past McFriday's without gagging. Heh. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. We'll go with adopted. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot, but of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father? Oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh. He was right, you know. That's sad. I stare at the picture longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on the back. <clears throat> Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Ah. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. I look amazing for my age, then. Mm. Hey! Remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. <laughs> hey! Remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey! Hey! Remember when I broke the back window pl Yeah, we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Ah. There'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. That should be cross-stitched on something. Heh. <laughs> you ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It'll forever hold a place in my heart, but 
It stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? Mm -hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat <clears throat> and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. All right. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I won't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know, Amanda... You know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? We all do, honey. Mm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on that attitude. Huh. I don't know how to do that either. Really? Did you pass, driver's ed? Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, mm -hmm. honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Oh. Don't you dare. Senior. <sighs> Dad, I know where this is going. Dad joke territory. Citizen. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping and pops. Cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay. You're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out and then we'll never unpack completely. pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Ha! Hey and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. Hmm. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Ah. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Ah. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Uh, let's see. Unpack first. Coffee. <laughs> let's get coffee. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. And before we go check that out, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, so, continue my journey into Dream Daddy Dad Rector's Cut. Um, again, I know I've played this before and I have a video of it already, but fresh start with um, these adorable daddies that I love dating. And uh, we'll take it there. So, thank you for uh, listening in on the melodious sound of my voice uh, I am the Krisha Jean in case you've forgotten the what 20-ish minutes we've been doing this and I will see you in the next video <laughs> <laughs>